I'm a civil servant. I'm 54 years old. I'm a married man and I have four children. The three of them are old now. Uh, some, two of them have finished school, they are engaged in other activities, uh, employment, one is still at the university, and, and a young one is still with us here. Yeah, I re, I've been in the civil service as a civil servant. I retired last year, uh, 2017, to pay attention to other activities um, in the construction industry, uh, real investment. Uh, I love putting up houses. So that's what I do, and also at my own part-time. Uh, I first uh, realized that I had a kidney problem. In 2006, I was out of the country. I had gone to China, Wuxi City. We were sponsored by our government. And uh, you know, in a new place, and we were doing a lot of gym. Then I realized that I was um, passing blood in my urine. So I was taken to a hostel in Wuxi City and I was diagnosed with a problem of polycystic kidneys. Um, they told me that uh, a case of polycystic kidney is something which is inherited, and it starts giving problem at the age of 40. Then um, after two months, I came back to Kenya, and then I was attached to uh, Eldoret Referral Hospital, Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital here, for regular checkup. Uh, from that time, the NHIF had started taking care of my tests, my drugs, and my medical checkup. But then come uh, 9th of uh, September uh, 2015, I was just feeling the normal, like as if I'd eaten something bad and I feel like vomiting and things like that, and, and like I feel like scratching my body. So, so it was on a Friday. I just went to the office just like any other normal day when things became bad, and actually I collapsed in my office. I was taken to, to Real Hostel in Eldred. So that's the time they came to realize that they, they have, the two kidneys have actually collapsed. They are not able to purify uh, the, 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 the wastes in the body. Then after some treatment, I was put on dialysis. Still, I was being sponsored by NHIF. And um, I was not responding well to dialysis because I was going for dialysis twice a week. So twice a week, I had no time to work. Then I started losing weight. My general weight before was around 76. Within two months and a half, I was weighing between 51 and 52. And then, I, 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 of course, I lost weight. I became black. Then I was advised to look for a donor. Luckily, um, a number of people were tested. You know the problem with donation. Some people would come, they are not found fit. Others would come, they would find to be compatible with me. After some time, they would back down. But then I got one, um, a lady, my niece, who accepted. And uh, that exercise involved a lot of tests to be done, some of which are done outside the country. I was allowed to go for treatment in India. And um, the NHIF had put a deposit of 2.5 million shillings for that treatment because they were sponsoring me, they were sponsoring the donor, and also the caretaker, who was my wife. So they paid for the transport, they paid for accommodation, meals, and the treatment. Then after a series of tests in that country, after about one and a half months, uh, I was qualified for, for the transplant. And I was transplanted on 8th of, on, on 8th of March 2016. Stayed in the ICU for 10 days. Then uh, I was like I was doing well, I didn't have much complications, so I was allowed now to go to the hostels. The donor was sent back to Kenya. They don't have much problem. She was in good shape. They found me fit. They prescribed for me the, the anti-rejection drugs that I was supposed to take. Then on, uh, on 10th of, uh, of April, we were allowed to come back to Kenya. So far, um, I'm going for checkup every two months. 
those checkups are also fairly expensive. They are, uh, they are also covered by the NHIF. They do five tests to see the situation, how the situation is. And I must say I'm lucky. I have no problem now. I've always used the, any opportunity I get to tell my friends that it is important that they register with NHIF, irrespective of what economic activities they involve in. I'm so grateful to those who thought about having an insurance body like NHIF. They assisted me. Whatever assistance that uh, the government can do to NHIF and the management, I would wish that uh, NHIF grows stronger. I feel like, I wish people would listen. I wish I would be given opportunity to talk to them and tell them, here I am. I, I, you know, I, I wish I would, some, some people who saw me before I left, when I was so black, my body full of scales, weighing 51 from 76 to 51, not able to, to eat. You eat anything, you vomit because of high accumulation of urea in the body, creatinine and all those things. I tell you, um, those who can listen, let them share this risk with NHIF. They will do it for them. They do it.